Hello, listeners. Uh, you're tuned into Cut to the Chase podcast. Today, we're diving into deep in the world of pen testing, focusing on the vital aspects of visibility and control. I'm Eden A. Picon. Um, yes, my last name is a little bit unique there. My last name, my last name means spicy. And uh, I am your guy for today. And um, I am a solutions architect here at, here at Senec. And uh, let's jump right in. Um, <clears throat> security shouldn't be an afterthought. Whether you're launching a killer app, uh, freshing code base, or sending into the cloud, uh, you need a strategy that integrates security from the get-go. And I, and I get it. Like, Typically, security is a block. It's a slowdown, right? Um, but let's dispel that myth here. Security doesn't have to slow you down. Actually, in fact, if it's done right, it should accelerate the mission. And during this session, the things that we're going to be talking about today offers the cutting edge, secure approach to pen testing. We'll explore innovation features that set Synac apart from others, um, everything from one click pause functions to in house C2 callback servers, all aimed to offer you unmatched control, visibility, and above all, peace of mind in an ever evolving threat landscape. So sit tight. Uh, this is one episode that you don't want to miss. And uh, so we're going to talk about pausing a pen test, pausing an assessment, just pausing a test in general. And what you see here, this is actually our uh, platform. Uh, there's a lot of good things here. Uh, I don't have time to show it all. There's just a lot of good things. But um, let's just focus on pausing an assessment for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go to assessments. And you see... Right here, you have the ability to pause all assessments all at once, or you can select which tests you want to pause, one or two or you know three or four. That way, you don't if you don't want to pause all of them, you can just do one at a time. And here at Senac, you know we understand that things happen um, on a day to day basis. So whenever those things happen, we want to make sure that you have the ability to pause a test at any point. Um, one of the great things about this is, you know, you can, you don't have to come to us. You don't have to reach out to us. You can do this on your own. Cause a lot of times with my customers, um, you know, they really like the fact that actually I had a, a, a CISO at an oil industry, um, oil company expressed to me that, um, he was really delighted to know that this pause assessment was actually there. Um, because there was a situation that happened on their end and they just didn't have time to communicate with us or do anything like that. And the fact that they could just pause the assessment and then internally with their team, they were just able to discuss things that needed to be done, but knowing that that's the, the, the thing that occurred interfered with our testing, but they could just pause the test, which was a really big deal for them. Um, really big relief as well. And, you know, those are one of the things that, we really like, you know, to give for the pause assessment, to pause the test, because you don't have to wait on us. You don't have to rely on us, um, although we're there for you, but you can just do it uh, within seconds. Um, the next thing that I really want to discuss, and uh, this is a really helpful feature as well. We're going to go to assessments. And again, there's a few ways to do things, but I'm just going to go the easy route. We're going to go to an actual assessment. And when we scroll down here, firewall allow list IP addresses. This is our way to, to whitelist our Synac IPs. Um, this is a really great feature, uh, you know, to have. You know, one of the reasons that we want to have this feature is to make sure that we can distinguish friendly traffic, which is us at Synac versus malicious activity. Um, you know, I was actually talking with one of my customers, big financial uh, company. And one of the things that uh, the CISO expressed to me was that, you know, they have a big blue team and they don't have time to sift through all the different things that occur uh, within the environment on a day to day. So they wanted to know how is it that we can make their life easier to understand when we test, when we start to test. Hey, can you let us know when that happens? Well, I was able to let them know about this feature whereby we actually do give warning orders actually to um, 
let you know when we're going to test. But the thing is, we actually will whitelist uh, our Synec IPs and we distinguish them versus scanning traffic versus the human led traffic. That way, when you see traffic, the blue team can easily, di e easily detect when it's a Synec IP address. And not just Synec IP address, but also what type of activity is it? Is it the scanning or is it the human led? Um, and when I explained that to the CISO, I mean, he was really delighted because this basically knocked a lot of time and uh, confusion uh, for the blue team when the day-to-day -day operations are happening. Um, and it made the test really smooth. They didn't have to worry about, you know, getting a notification for us about when we're testing or anything like that. It just made their life really easy. Um, you know, the next thing I'm going to go to is coverage analytics. This is actually one of my favorite features um, that we have here. Um, you know, the focus here is really giving that panoramic view of security testing beyond just vulnerabilities um, that are identified. But we, want, we use real-time traffic logs to show like which domains, subdomains, API endpoints, IPs uh, that's been assessed. All right, because a lot of times, you know, with a pen test, you want to make sure that are you getting the coverage that you expected? This actually gives also accountability to us and for you as to, hey, are we testing what we said we were going to test within scope that we discussed before, before starting the test? Um, so example is, you know, a lot of time customers will ask about, hey, you know, how do I know for sure if a particular endpoint has been tested? And this is where they can go to look at that. And you can really go to all a test that all tests that 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 uh, we've been testing, and you can just pick which one you want to go to. And I mean, we can just continue to drill down from the domain <clears throat> down to subdomains, even to APIs. And you know, you can look at the traffic for our researchers. Um, we have amount of hits that happen. And one of the things that's really all, that's all, that's good also is that even with the classified traffic, you can also look at the percentage of traffic of what's been going to certain attacks. Like, let's say for the top ten OAuth, for example, you know we have a list here. Let's say hey for the SQL I, you know we'll be getting like thirteen percent of traffic with this particular um, you know asset or the particular uh, endpoint that we're really trying to focus on, and that way the customer feels really comfortable knowing that, hey, you know what? Okay, I do see that we we have a good coverage there, but also in the situation that, hey, you know what? I looked at the coverage analytics. I've noticed that this particular endpoint that I'm looking at, I want a little bit more coverage on this. So there we can, here at Synac, guide our researchers, which are which is our security testers. We can guide them to that endpoint after the customer has said, you know what? I would like a little bit more coverage in this area. So that way, it's keeping everybody um, keeping everybody accountable. You're getting the holistic view of all your you know, your whole posture, basically. You know, not just from a standpoint of vulnerabilities, but just really what's actually been looked at, what's been tested. Are there areas that we need to focus on more, or why is this area not focused on as much as others? You know, we can really look at all those different things um, from the care, from the coverage analytics, which is just a great. Um, great really like covering any gaps um you know the next thing i want to discuss here and we don't necessarily have a um, reason to show this in a portal um, but we do have a slide for this uh you know this is a really important um thing as well as hey how do our researchers test you know what how does this testing occur we want to know all that so this is a really helpful thing to understand is our security researchers, when, we're, when they're conducting uh, tests, they're doing that on Synac owned and controlled workspaces, you know, VDIs. And, you know, one of the things, there, there's a few things that's great about this. I mean, this enhances security. Um, this, there's a lot of transparency involved because we can make sure that we have full capture on all activities uh, with our researchers. Um, this also really helps with understanding that all our researchers are, are testing the same way there's a consistent pattern that you know that the way that our researchers are testing. Uh, there's an audit trail as well, a uh, comprehensive audit trail, um, which is important for compliance and um, safeguards as well. 
And, you know, one of the things about this is, you know, it was really interesting. I was at a conference talking to a security engineer and, you know, he had a really good question. He was trying to understand that we were talking about different things and we happened to talk about, you know, how does it look like when we're doing, you know, web testing? You know, a lot of times you might use Burp Suite to do web testing and how secure is that? You know, how much control do you have there? Um, and I was able to tell him about, you know, our C2 infrastructure, which really sets us apart because um, we've established a way in-house to have a C2 callback server, which allows us to keep testing, all testing communication within our four walls. You know, because this way it really helps us maintain a strict, controlled um, type of testing, ensuring that the client data never leaves a secure monitoring environment. You know, we want to we want to re really reassure that to the customer. And honestly, by keeping all the C2 communication internal, we we not only eliminate the risk of data exposure, but also ensure that we meet compliance standards. This method enhances the security and the integrity of our testing, you know, um, and the security engineer was really glad to hear that because, you know, he what one thing he did say was that his CISO, when it comes to pen testing, especially with different tools, they really would rather not see any hiccups, <laughs> anything that's going to um, knock anything out in a very negative way to impact their environment. So to understand that, you know, we have those four walls and, you know, we have a testing done within those four walls. Um, I mean, he was really happy to hear this. Um, so, you know, in summary, with all the things that we talked about today, <clears throat> we're redefining what it means to conduct security testing today in the digital landscape that we're in today. You know, we offer you control, flexibility, uh, transparency. You need to secure your assets without hindering innovation and operation. Um, from the one-click pause feature to IP whitelisting, from real-time coverage analytics, which is, again, my favorite feature, to securing our testing environments, we're really committed to providing that 360-degree, that holistic approach um, of viewing and controlling your security posture. So, you know, when you think of robust, comprehensive, and accountable security testing, think CINAC. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And remember, in a world of evolving cyber threats, your security shouldn't be a question mark. Make it a statement with Synac. And remember, you can always find us at synac.com.